Have you noticed your personality has changed over time? You might not be the same person from a year ago compared to today. Maybe you were always busy and always with a different friend group. But as time went on, maybe you started enjoying time alone more than hanging out with friends. You might be thinking you're an introvert, but you could be an extrovert who's a bit scared to put yourself back out there. Before we begin, we would like to say that there has been a huge decline in mental health around the world, which is why we are so committed to creating more content than we ever have. Thanks for being part of our journey. Here are six signs you're not an introvert, but actually a wounded extrovert. Number one, you crave social interaction, but you're afraid of being hurt. When someone is an introvert, they need time alone to recharge after some sort of event or task. Imagine it's Friday and you just had the craziest week and are done. Would you rather A, have a fun night out with some friends or B, have a cozy night in with your PJs and some Netflix? If you chose A, but have been having a lot of nights in lately and hated it, you could be a wounded extrovert. Bonus points in the wounded extrovert category if you'd call up an old friend to hang out with rather than going somewhere to meet new people. If you chose B, then you're most likely an introvert. Number two, you're always alone, but you feel depleted by it. You spend a lot of time by yourself or at home, but are dying to get out there and do something. When an introvert is out with a group of people, they're dipping into their energy reserves. They need that self-care time to be able to recharge. An extrovert, however, might be able to go have lunch with a friend, but are bored by the time they get back home and invite another friend to go shopping. If you think back to yourself being this way once, but something has happened that made you behave differently now, it could mean that you're a wounded extrovert. Three, you isolate for different reasons. An introvert might prefer to be alone because they enjoy alone time. However, a wounded extrovert might prefer to be alone not because they enjoy alone time, but because they wanna protect themselves to avoid getting hurt. This might be due to past trauma and a lack of trust in others due to the trauma. Number four, you used to enjoy and look forward to group work and collaborations. When it comes to school or work, an introvert is typically a heads down kind of person. They don't wanna work with others. They just get the job done quickly. Extroverts, on the other hand, might hang out around the proverbial water cooler quite often. If you think back, and can remember a time when you used to socialize more at work or school, you may also recall a time when socializing at work or school may have gotten you in trouble or some kind of drama. If this point brings up a memory for you, it could be a sign that you're truly a wounded extrovert. Number five, you used to be talkative. Got a problem? Talk it out. Need advice? Talk it out. Have a super long to-do list? Talk it out. Not only do extroverts love being around people, but they love talking to people, especially if there's some sort of disagreement or issue. This isn't just for conflict either. An extrovert is usually talkative most, if not all of the time. They may also be uncomfortable with pauses in conversations too. If this sounds like you, it could be a sign that you're not an introvert. And number six, you were an extrovert as a child. When you think back to your childhood, what do you see? Do you see memories of you and others playing together outside, playing video games together? Or were you someone who preferred to spend time alone? If you were someone who always wanted to be in a group or the person who always invited everyone over, this could be a sign that you were and still are an extrovert, but something happened that caused you to wanna to be alone. If this point sounds familiar to you, please reach out to a mental health professional to help explore any past events or traumas that you may have endured. Did any of these points sound like yourself? Let us know in the comments below. What kind of personality do you think you have? For more information on wounded or shy extroverts, check out our eight signs you're not an introvert, but a shy extrovert. And if you found some insight or new ideas in this video, make sure to leave a like and share it with a friend. Thanks for watching. Until next time.